Shocking new development this morning in the attempted assassination of Supreme Court Justice Brett Kavanaugh. New court documents show the suspect, Nicholas Roski, posted online that he wanted to kill two other justices as well. Morning, Joe. Yeah, good morning, Mitch. What we're really learning from this new FBI warrant that was just released is that uh, Nicholas Roski's decision to try to kill Justice Brett Kavanaugh was not this on the whim kind of thing. There was some meticulous planning here and a serious level of research in the weeks leading up to the attempt and the arrest uh, that he was doing. And we also learned, as you mentioned, that it wasn't just Brett Kavanaugh that may have been in his crosshairs. Let's go ahead and take a look from this. Document. Uh, according to some of these things, his web searches that Ross was looking up in the weeks leading up to this failed attempt, quietest semi-auto rifle, most effective place to stab someone, and how to be stealthy. And there were about a half a dozen others just like that. Now, the warrant also details some conversations that Roski had with other users on Reddit and online platforms in which he says he is going to stop. Roe v. Wade from being overturned. And when asked how he's going to do that, he says he's going to, quote, remove some people from the Supreme Court. Roski did go all the way from his California home and fly to the Washington, D.C. area, then took a cab right outside the home of Supreme Court Justice Kavanaugh. And we know that he was armed when he did that. Ultimately, he ended up seeing a marshal and he ended up calling 911 on himself, telling the dispatcher that he had some psychiatric issues, obviously didn't go through with it, but he is now facing some serious charges, now charged with attempted murder. Mitch. That's Joe Khalil, live in Washington, D.C. Thank you, Joe. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.